Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will talk about how is AI used in fraud detection. So make sure to watch the full video. Things that people use to buy in stores are now purchased online, whether it's furniture, groceries, or clothing. Detecting fraud in a dynamic global corporate environment with an overwhelming quantity of traffic and data to monitor can be difficult. Fraud detection is an excellent application for machine learning, having a track record of success in areas such as banking and insurance. It's shocking, but it's true. According to McAfee's latest report, cybercrime presently damages the global economy $600 billion, or 0.8% of global GDP. Fraud is becoming a more and more serious threat to banks and their consumers costing billions of dollars each year. Scams including false invoices, CEO fraud, and business email. Compromise, BC, among others, are being carried out through social engineering rather than high-tech hacking. Some banks will reimburse their consumers, while others would not, claiming the customer's responsibility for initiating a transaction. Banks are losing money or consumer trust in any case. AI and fraud detection. Using AI to detect fraud has aided businesses in improving internal security and simplifying corporate operations. Artificial intelligence has therefore emerged as a significant tool for avoiding financial crimes due to its increased efficiency. AI can be used to analyze huge numbers of transactions in order to uncover fraud trends, which can subsequently be used to detect fraud in real time. When fraud is suspected, AI models may be used to reject transactions altogether or flag them for further investigation, as well as rate the likelihood of fraud, allowing investigators to focus their efforts on the most promising instances. The AI model can also offer cause codes for the transaction being flagged. These reason codes direct the investigator as to where they should seek to find the faults and aid to speed up the investigation. I may also learn from investigators when they evaluate and clear questionable transactions, reinforcing the AI model's knowledge and avoiding trends that don't lead to fraud. Role of NL and AI in Fraud Detection Machine learning is a term that describes analytic approaches that learn patterns in datasets without the assistance of a human analyst. AI is a wide term that refers to the use of particular types of analytics to complete tasks ranging from driving a car to, yep, Detecting a fraudulent transaction. Consider machine learning to be a method of creating analytic models and AI to be the application of those models. Because the approaches enable the automatic finding of patterns across huge quantities of streaming transactions, they are very successful in fraud. Prevention and detection. If done correctly, machine learning can tell the difference between legal and fraudulent conduct while also responding to new, previously unknown fraud methods over time. This may get fairly complicated since patterns in the data must be interpreted and data science applied to constantly enhance the capacity to identify normal from aberrant behavior. This necessitates the correct execution of hundreds of calculations in milliseconds. A badly architected machine learning model, like individuals, may develop undesirable behaviors. Strategies for Fraud Detection and Prevention Using AI 1. Using supervised and unsupervised AI models together Because organized crime tactics are so clever and adaptable, defensive efforts based on a single, one-size-fits-all analytic methodology will fail. Expertly developed anomaly detection approaches that are optimal for the situation at hand should be supported by each use case. As a result, both supervised and unsupervised models are critical in fraud detection and must be integrated into complete, next-generation fraud tactics. A supervised model is one that is trained on a large number of correctly labeled transactions, which is the most frequent type of machine learning across all fields. Each transaction is assigned to one of two categories, fraud or non-fraud. In order to discover patterns that best reflect lawful activities, the models are trained by consuming huge quantities of labeled transaction information. The amount of clean, relevant training data used in the development of a supervised model is closely connected to model accuracy. 
Unsupervised models are intended to detect unusual behavior when labeled transaction data is scarce or non-existent. In these instances, self-learning must be used to uncover patterns in the data that are hidden by traditional analytics. 2. Behavioral Analytics in Action Machine learning is used in behavioral analytics to analyze and predict behavior at a granular level across all aspects of a transaction. Profiles that describe the habits of each user, merchant, accounting device are kept track of the data. These profiles are updated in real time with each transaction, allowing analytic features to be computed that offer accurate forecasts of future behavior. The financial and non-financial transactions are detailed in the profiles changes of address, a request for a duplicate card, or a recent password reset are all examples of non-monetary transactions. To mention a few instances, monetary transaction information assists in the construction of patterns that may indicate an individual's average expenditure velocity, the hours and days when they tend to transact, and the time duration between geographically dispersed payment sites. Profiles are extremely useful since they provide an up-to-date picture of activity, which can help prevent transaction abandonment due to annoying false positives. 3. Developing Models with Large Datasets According to research, the quantity and breadth of data have a greater influence on the success of machine learning models than the algorithm's intelligence. It's the equivalent of human experience in computing. This implies that, where possible, increasing the dataset used to create the predictive features utilized in a machine learning model might increase prediction accuracy. Consider this. There's a reason why doctors are required to see thousands of patients during their education. This level of knowledge or learning enables them to diagnose properly within their field of expertise. A model will profit from the expertise obtained from absorbing millions or billions of instances both valid and fraudulent transactions when it comes to fraud detection. 4. Self-learning AI and adaptive analytics Fraudsters make it incredibly difficult and dynamic to secure consumers' accounts, which is where machine learning excels. Adaptive solutions, meant to sharpen reactions, particularly on marginal judgments, should be considered by fraud detection specialists for continuous performance improvement. These are transactions that are quite near to the investigated triggers either slightly above or slightly below the threshold. The narrow line between a false positive event, a legal transaction that has scored too high, and a false negative event, a fraudulent transaction that has scored too low, is where accuracy is most essential. Adaptive analytics sharpens this difference by providing an up-to-date understanding of a company's danger vectors. This allows analysts to accurately reflect the fraud environment they are dealing with including new tactics and subtle fraud patterns that have been dormant for some time. This adaptive modeling approach makes changes to the model automatically. The weights of predicted characteristics in the underlying fraud models are automatically adjusted using this adaptive modeling method. It's a strong tool for improving fraud detection at the margins and preventing new forms of fraud assaults. Bottom line. Digital organizations can identify automated and more complex fraud attempts faster and more accurately by combining supervised and unsupervised machine learning as part of a larger artificial intelligence AI fraud detection strategy. The banking and retail industries are under attack and face numerous fraud charges as long as the contemporary world is swamped with card-not-present transactions online. Email phishing, financial fraud, Identity theft, document forgery, and false accounts all contribute to a large number of criminal attacks on vulnerable users' data, which results in data breaches. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.